Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And today I wanted to go over a um interesting topic. And it's not something I really hear from you guys. It's what I hear when it comes to actual kids in my art classes is what's a it doesn't matter what you sketch with and what you use in order to doodle with. And I'm here to say no and then Yes, <laughs> it's a it's it's a two way street. So it's either that, honestly, myself, I can pick up a regular hotel ballpoint pen and sketch something out roughly, and then go in and then line it. But when it comes to sketching things out, is there a proper pencil when it comes to sketching? So I have right here my two H pencil. Now, the thing about this 2H pencil is it has a hard lead, but it's easy to erase as opposed to soft tip pencils. It's soft lead. So if you're dealing with a 9B soft lead, that means it's really, really soft. It's pretty close to charcoal and it's going to be a little bit harder to pick up with an eraser. I use a 2H pencil all the time to sketch out watercolors because 2H pencils they're easier to work with as opposed to um, a regular mechanical pencil. What I like about my 2H pencils is that I can erase it upright and I can make as many marks as possible and it doesn't really matter. It just comes up easy as you can see me using my eraser. So yes, I would definitely recommend a 2H pencil when it comes to sketching things out on a watercolor paper or even a canvas. It it's all right to come up. And so, yes, I was in my class the other day and one of my students goes, this is a sketching pe pencil. And I went, yes, it is. I didn't even have to look at it. I just could tell by looking at the tip of the pencil and seeing the lead. And she goes, how'd you know? And I go, I know what a sketching pencil when I see one. So yes, it does matter if you want to get more serious about your art. I always say art supplies does not matter because I can use a regular mechanical pencil and doodle all over computer paper and draw almost the exact same effect that I have with Anastasia right now. The thing is, it's just, it's easier to practice with different sketching tools, but a 2H pencil is by far one of my favorite sketching tools. And it's just easy to come to when you need to sketch something out on watercolor paper. Because the thing about 2H pencils is they do disappear within watercolor and they also disappear when you use ink and they disappear when you use Copic markers. They give it a nice good shading, but they do disappear. Okay, so let's come to my second favorite sketching tool. So I love my 2H pencils because they're easy to erase, but when I want to see my concept lines, it comes to the Call Erase Prismacolor Erasable Pencils. Now, these are super cheap on Amazon. You can also get the 2H pencils from your local art store. They do sell individual pencils like they sell Prismacolor individual pencils or individual markers. Now with the Call Erase Prismacolor pencils, I have never seen them in a Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I always have to order mine off of Amazon, which is okay because they're super cheap. A pack of 24, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, just go ahead and Amazon it. I'll go ahead and put it here as well. It's just, it's easier to go and buy off Amazon for me and just wait a couple days. And, you, and even if you want more of a certain color, you can order in bulk. My favorite to work with is the blue pencil, the light blue. And it even says on the side, and then it comes with all these colors. I love using the vermilion, the red, the blue, the dark blue, the dark purple, the violet, and then the pink. Because you can always accent with your call rice and pencils with actually shading that represents the colors, that represents the characters that you are doodling. For example, I use my pink color um, pencil on Rapunzel. So I use that on her, or if you're doing a sketch of Pascal, you would use the green pencil. And they're fun to work with because you have them there and, they're, and I never feel the need to really erase my call erase marks. Even with it, when it comes to alcohol-based markers, 
the alcohol-based markers ink eats up the colorase and it blends it in a way and I love leaving my actual colorase sketches up on my Copic mark doodles just because I can see it gives it a nice blue shade it's not being messy or lazy it's just cool because people can see the original sketches to show that you actually drew this. Now, why do people use color erase pencils, colored color erase pencil? Back in the day, it used to just be red and blue because when they were doing cartoons for the Sunday newspaper or making cartoons, they used to use a Xerox machine and what it would do is that it would not see the blue or uh, red pencil marks. So what they would do is they would sketch out with a blue or red pencil and then they would ink over their sketch marks and when they Xeroxed it, it the red and the blue never went through, only the final product of the ink around it. Correct me if I'm wrong, I googled, googled that a little while ago and that's what I came up with. <laughs> so that's what I tell all my students and when they ask me when I'm sketching, should I use a blue color erase pencil like you? And I go, that's totally up to you guys, but hey, for Christmas, I got them each a red and blue color erase pencil for all of my art students in my cartoon art classes. And they really love them, and I see them using them every other day, and I also see them using a 2H pencil every other day because I told them that it is a good sketching pencil! Another one of my favorite tools, you probably noticed that I was using two color erase pencils. I was using my color and then I like to use my black. Now that's a little bit less intimidating to what I'm doing here. When I'm doing sketches in my sketchbook, my sketchbook is for practicing and all sketchbooks should be that way. It shouldn't be a final piece sketchbook, I have to post this on Instagram. No, my sketchbook is full of so many doodles I never post on Instagram just because I'm practicing, this is where I want to practice, and that's how I treat my sketchbooks. It's my practice field. Um, instead of going out on the soccer field and playing soccer or playing football, my sketchbook is my practice field. And sometimes, you know, you see the games, people go to the games, but people never see the practice for a, of sport. They never go to the basketball court to watch practices. They never go to a soccer game to watch practices. And they never go to a football game to watch practices. They go for the games. So my practice field is my sketchbook. And I have an ELO sketchbook. And what I like to do is I like to try different supplies. My favorite inking tools happens to be Micron pens. I love Micron pens, 01. I sometimes go up a little bit to 03, 05. Those are my favorite types of tips and sizes of the tips when it comes to Micron pens, just because it gives me a chance to practice making thicker lines to show shadows and that's what I mainly want to do so I make a point to even though I'm not going to color it and I'm not going to erase any of my sketch lines I still like to use micron pens just so I can practice with them and I can practice thickness of my lines as well as having a steady hand when it comes to actually instead of sketching sketch lines I want to make one fluid line Another one of my favorite sketching tools happens to be, I don't know if this is called a protractor or whatever. As you can see, you can make diameters of all size circles, just a nice solid circle background to just give a little pizzazz to your sketches. Or even if you're making a final touch, a good circle in the background of color or shadows or a galaxy, it always accents in a way. So I would definitely recommend one of these protractors and I got mine from Hobby Lobby and I'm pretty sure you can get them at Michael's as well. But I like it just because it, I, sometimes I can't do perfect circles but I have a perfect circle tool so I try to use this perfect circle tool when it comes to my doodles. And you know, sometimes giving it a nice dark background that's pretty, it always accents it in a way. And another one of my favorite tools happens to be my paint brush pens. <laughs> There's a Sakura paint brush pens, or yes, it is a brand by Sakura. And what I do is I take a little bit of a color ink and I like to give it shadows. And it just gives it a little bit more pizzazz. 
you know, it's just, it's one of my favorite sketching shading techniques is using a little bit of blue ink or a little bit of black ink and diluting it a ton. That way I can go ahead and use my layers. This just enhances it a little bit and plus it eats up a lot of the 2H pencil marks as you can see on Anastasia. And these are Sakura, um paintbrush pens. I mean, you can find them at Michaels and Hobby Lobby. They are expensive, but they are worth it and they're awesome to work with. So that's something I would look into as well. But overall, art supplies does not matter. I still use my mechanical, regular mechanical pencils. You know, the stock things at Staples. I use those. That's how I sketch stuff out. I don't always have my professional quotation mark, air quotations with me so I just use what's around me just because I want to doodle even if it is a regular number two pencil or if it is a regular whatever you just use what you can adapt with but this is just something a little bit of arts and tips and tricks when it comes to supplies but I want to encourage you that art supplies does not make an artist it is the artist that makes the art so <laughs> that means practice, practice, practice. doesn't matter su about supplies because all it matters is that you are picking up a normal number two pencil and practicing. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you try some of these sketching tools and maybe they help you. And maybe you're just looking for different sketching tools to work with. But yes, guys, have a most wonderful night. Bye!